It was on a small balcony on the second floor of a rented house in a small peasant village in southern Italy that a young boy would often eagerly await the arrival of his father. But on one occasion, the boy was crying inconsolably and yelling for his father to come home. But his father was never to return again. This was one such event that was to have a major impact and influence on the boy's development and growth well into adulthood. And these are described and captured in the self-published true story, Scarred for Life, The Cry of Hope, in which I also detail and look at and provide an insightful look at 60 years of my life and look back over those years in which to try and make sense of everything that took place. But we go back to the small peasant village, which remembering that this was after, shortly after World War II, when most of the buildings and houses were destroyed. And so the town was in the process of rebuilding. And the village itself didn't even have a sewage system because my mum would often recall having to get up at all sorts, all hours of the night in which to pour the chambers over the balcony and onto the cobblestone pavements below. We'll continue on in the next video.